leave it like Lisa here. And as promised, I've just finished doing my entryway and I'm about to start on reorganizing my kitchen cupboards. So it's pretty late in the afternoon, so I may not finish it all today. So if I do and there's a whole change of clothes and a change of look, it's probably because I've you know come back to finish it on another day but i just wanted to get a start on it anyway because like i said in my previous video we've been in our house now for just over a year we moved in june last year so about a year and a half and i've just like there's a few things in my kitchen cupboards where there's things that we need to access that are, you know, too, because I'm short and I mean, I can't reach a lot of the high cupboards and there's a lot of stuff in my cupboards that I don't use that I'm thinking I'll put up in the higher cupboards because they're not frequently used. And there's quite a lot of stuff that I think I'm just going to get rid of completely because I just don't think I'm ever going to use. So I'm just going to do a whole bit of reorganization. So we might start with the kitchen drawers, our utensils drawer, crockery drawer. And at the bottom of that is uh, at the moment where I'm keeping all of our storage containers, like glass storage containers. So we'll start in that bank of three drawers and then we'll move our way around as we go. So I'll turn you around now and let's get started. Okay, so I've finished reorganizing my kitchen cupboards now. I didn't show you as much as of the whole process as I was planning to because I changed my mind like 50 times throughout it. So I just thought I'll show you the end result. So in this drawer now, I'm really happy with. It looks quite neat. So that's all our cutlery and cooking utensils that aren't the wooden ones. Then in this drawer, again, we just have our crockery, have, that hasn't changed. And then in this drawer, we have all our glass storage containers. I just found this brand new storage container box that I didn't even realize we had. So that's another 12, 12 piece storage set that we have. So yeah, that's all those. Then this cupboard's just the bin and recycle bin. So in this corner cupboard, I just have all of our white serving trays and serving dishes and bowls. And then down the bottom cupboard, we just have um, stainless steel mixing bowls and some strainers. And then at the back there, because I don't use them often, is all of our bakeware. And then those boxes contain cookie cutters in the top one and some cake decorating um, equipment in the bottom one. And then on top there is a set of wooden utensils that I use just for baking. So that's the corner cupboard. The under sink cupboard. I've just straightened it a bit. So I like to contain everything in baskets. So in that first basket is all the spray and wipes and different cleaners in there. And then we've got the dishwashing type stuff in that second one. And then there's a little Kmart caddy there that I just keep some extra things in, just some vinegar and bicarb soda and antibacterial wipes. Then next to that is just my drying mat that I've also got from Kmart, as well as kitchen paper towels and our large chopping board. So that's the under sink area, all nice and organized again. And we've got my dishwasher going. Then in this corner cupboard, I keep all of our electrical appliances so the slow cooker hand mixer and rice cooker are on the top because they get used the most and at the back we've got a couple of chocolate fountains for parties we've got our neutral bullet and in those plastic containers are all the attachments for the neutral bullet and then in this corner we have our dehydrator so we use that to make beef jerky mainly so that's our corner cupboard coming round we've got our oven and then in this end cupboard we have all of our cookware so I've got a couple of chopping boards at the back there and then just all of our that's all scan pan cookware 
and that's all in there. And then up the top here, in this top cupboard, I just have my spiralizer and vegetable shredder in the basket there. And then down on this shelf, I just have a basket containing all of our measuring cups and measuring spoons. And then there's all our little scales and our ingredient, little ingredient bowls that you can use while you're cooking. So I keep those there. And like I said, I put those two up the top because I don't use them often and I can just reach them to pull the basket down. So that's why I like containing everything in baskets because it, it actually looks neater and it's easy to pull them down once when you need them as well. So that's that cupboard. Then in this cupboard here, I have up the top there is all of our mason jars for when we do some pickling and whatever. We haven't started it yet, but for when we do, we've got a little collection going there. And I've got a few more in the sink that I need to wash as well. So they'll be going up there as well. And then on this one, we just have all of our sauces and oils that we use for cooking. So then on this wall here, we have a big sort of pantry type cupboard as well as a cupboard above the microwave and a set of drawers. So this double cupboard here we use for all of our grilling stuff because we do a lot of barbecuing and a lot of grilling. And if you check out my husband's YouTube channel, he does a lot of videos to do with barbecuing and smoking foods and that sort of thing. So I'll leave a link to his channel below. You can check that out. So up the top there in those four baskets, in this first one, we've just got our iron because my husband does his ironing in the kitchen. I don't do any ironing whatsoever, but um, yeah, he, he needs to iron his uniform and that for work and in the that one's empty that one's empty and then in those two there's some like gar like gardening type stuff like seeds vegetable seeds and avocado seeds and little things like that to do with gardening then on this shelf is our steak boards as well as our set of steak knives and steak forks and then at the back there are the little bowls that go on the steak boards. You can see the two little spaces there where they go. And those you can put like chips in one and salad in the other. And then your big steak on the board there. Those were from Kmart, those steak boards. Well, they're, they're actually probably more used as like a cheese platter and cracker type board. But we're actually going to get some food grade oil to oil them up and seal them. And then, yeah, use them as steak boards. Then on the next shelf, we have a set of five baskets here. The baskets were also from Kmart and that's just all of our barbecuing stuff in there. So like any barbecue sauces, rubs for the meats, uh, marinades, different spices and chili sauces and all of that sort of thing. So anything to do with marinating the meats or seasoning the meats, that's all in there. And then this shelf is all the different attachments and different things you can use on the barbecue because my husband likes to use Webers for his barbecuing. So they're all different attachments and things for the Weber. Then on the next one down is the drip trays that go on the barbecue as well as just to store the meats in. And those two boxes there, one of them has the barbecuing utensils and different accessories. And the other one is a cleaning thing, like anything to do with cleaning the barbecue. So like cleaning wipes and scourers and stuff like that. And then in the bottom shelf is all the, is it scented wood? So like the wood smoking wood. So when you're smoking stuff, you get like a flavor go through your food, all of those sort of woods for the barbecue and a few more attachments and that there as well. So yeah, that whole cupboard is basically just dedicated to grilling and barbecuing. So that's that one. Then this cupboard here above the microwave, we have up the top shelf there is all my husband's vitamins and different health products that he likes to use. And then down here is all of our cookbooks 
and then that one's just like a recipe book holder and that's all in there then we've got our microwave and then in this drawer we have all of our spices the little spice jars you can either get from Kmart or from the reject shop then in the next drawer we just have all of our like glad wrap foil baking paper ziplock bags garbage bags all of that sort of thing as well as a fire blanket in there then in the next drawer we just have our everyday tablecloths and everyday tea towels and then in the last drawer we just have water bottles and lunch boxes and yeah different things like that so that's that then in the pantry area in this cupboard we just have all of our mugs and glasses on the top shelf with the Christmas and Easter mugs at the back and then on the bottom shelf is my husband's protein shakers or a sandwich maker and then right at the back there is just a coffee grinder and a cold pressed coffee pot as well so that's that cupboard then this corner cupboard and this one as well is where i keep all of our seasonal and holiday stuff so on the top here and and all the party sort of stuff so on the top shelf here is our little chocolate fondue set as well as our sushi platters and dipping trays and that sort of thing we've got a couple of baskets there and then those trays are what used to be in my butler's pantry but i took down for halloween then at the bottom here we have some party accessories like candles and disposable things for the parties and then the bottom box has got like napkin rings in it for christmas and that sort of thing and then we have all our christmas crockery so our christmas dinner set christmas storage containers as well as a serviette holder and then right at the back there our halloween plates and pumpkin dish and easter plates and little easter dishes and then this big box here is our little bunsen burner set which is the cooking set that we use at christmas time when we have our little fry pans so that just contains all the stuff we need for that as well as a couple of platters up the top there for what we put all the meat and everything in when we use those little fry pans so that's that cupboard that mainly is all like the holiday cupboard and then this cupboard under the sink in the breakfast bar is where I keep all my different charger plates. So these are all holiday ones, so whether it's Christmas, Halloween, Easter. So all the charger plates and serviettes and napkins on the bottom shelf. And then all the tablecloths and holiday tea towels on the top shelf. So yeah, that is pretty much a whole reorganization of my cupboards and like I said I was back and forth changing things I was planning on getting rid of a lot of stuff but my husband didn't want to so I ended up keeping a lot of it and just basically organizing it so that it looked neat and tidy well I hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope you, it gave you some ideas on how you can organize your own cupboards and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.